Hi everybody, it's Kara, AKA the Principal Painter. I bet you thought I forgot. I didn't forget. I just got a little behind on videoing. So today, without any further ado, we are going to the painter dining room table and I am gonna show you uh, a focused stash video. This is part two in a multi-part series. I'm gonna try to do at least one a month. Uh, you got two coming this month because I did not go to my storage facility and sweat for nothing. You guys are lucky, I love you. <laughs> All right, let's head to the painter dining room table and I'll show you what I got. See you there. All right, we are back at the painter dining room table. These stash videos are a lot of work. Oh my gosh. Um, my stash has become an amoeba with tentacles going out everywhere. So I've got some in my craft room, some under the bed in my bedroom, and some in storage. So to do these videos, remember for my stash videos, people had asked me to show my stash. I would have been there for 12 hours and you guys would have been terribly bored. So I'm doing focused stash videos. Uh, for those of you that are just joining me, I am um, compiling uh, beneath this video a playlist so um, if you'll remember, my last Dash video was Alice in Wonderland, and this video is all about mermaids. I liked mermaids more than I knew um, when I found all of these kits. I didn't know that I was gonna have enough mermaids, and I thought, okay, I'll do mermaids in ocean. Oh no, 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 no. Um, we're gonna do a separate ocean video this month as well because um, yeah, I had to separate some of these out. Before I start showing you uh, my stash, by the way, if you're new here, hi, I'm Kara, welcome, welcome. Um, I hope you'll uh, consider subscribing and um, clicking the bell to let you know anytime I post a video. In fact, you can multitask and call yourself a multitasker. You can do that right now and you don't even have to stop the video. There is a black subscribe button, just click it and you're subscribed. It's free to do that and it does help the channel. Okay, before I start this, I found another Alice in Wonderland painting, and this is one I had to show because I love it so, so much, and you can't get this one anymore. Um, I forgot I had it. I know none of you, I know none of you do that. You forget you have things. This is Alice Lost by Hannah Lynn. This is one of her bigger paintings from Diamond Art Club. Normally, Hannah Lynn uh, diamond paintings are about a 40 by 60. This one is a 70 by 89, so it's a big one. Um, there's, there are a few big ones, Aussie Girl, Off to the Ball, but this uh, falls into the larger category. You've got Alice, you've got the Cheshire Cat, you've got the White Rabbit, the Clock, I mean, just everything Alice in Wonderland. Here is the little... Um, worm and all that kind of thing but she's just so cute with her polka dotted gloves and all that so i didn't not uh, i didn't want to uh forget to show alice lost by hannah lynn love 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 me some hannah lynn and oh the blinging i could do on this one okay now we can start my mermaid video my mermaid stash so here are the paintings that i've got they're from a variety of companies um, like I said, I like mermaids more than I thought I did. So let's start it off. You know what I'm going to start it off with, right? You know, right? Um, I have to start it off with my girl, Dakota Dateweiler. This is Wave Mermaid. Um, she is a 55 by 70 centimeter. I, I love anything that Dakota puts out, but I have all of her mermaids. So you'll see several more in this, uh, this stash video. But I, oh, I just love this one. I got to sneak peek it. Uh, it's just uh, very special as Dakota is a very special person uh, to me as well. So that's Wave Mermaid. Now you guys remember, this is a stash video. I'm not showing the drills, the toolkits, all that. You're just seeing the paintings. Okay, this one, I love this artist too, and I love this company. This is Distracted by Diamonds. Greta Lusky is a very um, well-known, she, she does a lot of mermaids, and I think I have almost all of her mermaids, if not all of them, that Distracted by Diamonds has put out. Um, love Robin, love her shop. Um, this one's called At the Bottom, and I love it because she's looking at this message in a bottle at the bottom of the ocean, and her big mermaid tail is just sweeping around. Um, this one, uh, I don't have measurements on it. It's a 52 
by 65. So um, not a huge one, but oh my gosh, I just, I love, love this one. And I also love it because her tail and the coloring in this, yes, you've got the seafoam greens, but you got a lot of red in it, which is a little bit different. So I love that too. So at the bottom, Greta Lusky, Distracted by Diamonds. And she does still have one Greta Lusky the last time I looked on her site. So go check her out. She's on Etsy. She's Distracted by Diamonds and Patty Wax. Love me some Robin. What do I have next? I'm, oh my goodness. This is Sherry Baldy. Um, this is Steampunk Tea Bestie by Sherry Baldy from Diamond Art Dreams. I love Sherry Baldy. I've gotten to know her as well. Um, she's just the sweetest. This is a 70 by 50, 70 long, um, 50 uh, tall. But you've got this cute steampunk mermaid riding the steampunk fish. I just love it. So um, that's another one from my collection. Again, this is from Diamond Art Dreams. That is Sherry Baldi's company. Um, all of the companies I am showing you tonight, uh, all are legally licensed, meaning all of the artists have given permission for their work to be used and are being compensated. Um, that's very important to me. So um, yeah, so that is, again, Steampunk Taxi Bestie. I love her little eyeglass on her eye. Isn't she cute? Oh, okay. Next we have, all right, here's another Greta Lusky. See, I have several. Again, this is another Distracted by Diamonds. Um, this is a beautiful mermaid with the moon behind her. She is sitting on a rock with her tail swooped around. I love how they do that with the the tail swooping, so pretty. Um, let me see, 52 by 72 centimeter. So again, not too big. And again, I just love this image and I love the artist Greta Lusky. So this was 2020. And this one is called Pink Mermaid. Okay, moving along. What is this one? Oh, this one is an oldie but a goodie. <gasps> Micah Jelena. I love Micah Jelena's art. She just does beautiful things. This was um, an early on uh, painting that I purchased from Diamond Art Club. Um, you know, it's kind of a throwback. Some, I've been thinking about possibly pulling uh, a lot of my older kits and doing a throwback uh, video from a long time ago. But this one is a 51 by 76 centimeter. Um, I don't, it doesn't say if it's round or square, but I just, the purples and this, I am taking sparklers and doing something major with this crown. I just love it. And um, I remember when this came out, we're like, is she a mermaid? Isn't she a mermaid? But she is, we found out that she definitely is uh, a mermaid. So I included her in this uh, stash video. But again, this is Meridia by Diamond Art Club. Oh, she's just beautiful. Love her purple eyes. Okay. What do we have next? Ooh, this one is a Muni Maid. Um, I have two of the deities. I think there are five deities. I did for uh, Kokisha's event, uh, Break the Silence, I did Deity of the Forgotten. This is Deity of Sunset. I loved the beautiful, uh, you know, tangerines and reds and yellows in this one. Um, and just sometimes the expressions on these mermaids' faces are hilarious. Uh, she's hanging out on the rock. She's looking a little perturbed or like she's tired or has had it for the day. And she's got her tail kind of dipped in the water and then the, her, uh, the end of her tail is peeking out of the water. But um, it's a beautiful painting at sunset. It is a 50 by 70 centimeter. Um, and again, uh, the company is Muni Made that puts this out. And uh, like I said, I did Deity of the Forgotten and I really enjoyed working on it. Um, Muni Made has great kits, so um, go check them out as well. Deity of Sunset. Okay. Oh, this one's another Sherry Faldi. I just loved this one. This one again is uh, from Diamond Art Dreams. This is called Blue Mermaid Dreams, and you've got this darling mermaid, 
and she's got, she's framed in a splash, like she's making a splash and her little hair's over one eye, but she's got um, her other cute eye peeking out. She's got a floral headpiece or maybe a swimming cap on and her little tail is swooped up. Uh, I just, I, I love all the Sherry Baldi's besties. They're so cute and um, can't wait to work on this one. This one is a 50 by 60 centimeter. So again, not too big uh, from Diamond Art Dreams and this is called Blue Mermaid Dreams. Love it. Okay, what do we have? Oh, here's another Sherry Baldi, another Sherry Baldi. And it's hard to tell because um, there's a lot of, there's gonna be a lot of confetti in this one. This one's called Little Mermaid and Her Bestie, but you can kind of see her tail here down at the bottom, but I just, look at her face. She's just precious. Um, this one is a 60 by 60, so it is a perfectly square diamond painting. Um, I, I just, I saw the image of this and just loved it. So she's got her little fish friend uh, beside her and um, she's got some bubbles in the background here um, and she is absolutely adorable. Again, uh, Little Mermaid and her bestie from Diamond Art Dreams and Sherry Baldi. Okay, moving on. What is this one? Oh, this one is a craftably. <gasps> oh, this one is beautiful, guys. It is gorgeous. This is called Rainbow Daydream Mermaid by Sarah Burrier. The colors. I love the colors in this. She's a pink mermaid. Here's her tail down at the bottom. Can they see all this whole canvas? Her tail down at the bottom swooping and her beautiful hair that's all around her. I mean, everything, this screams everything mermaid. She's got fishes around her um, and just the colors in this one are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it is, oh, they do theirs in inches, but this is a bigger one. Um, I'd say this is like a 50 by 70 possibly. Um, but it's beautiful and it's from Craftably and I'm so glad I got it. Again, Rainbow Daydream Mermaid by Sarah Furrier. Okay, we are moving along. All right, my girl Dakota had to get it, had to get it again. This one has a very funny story. Well, kind of funny. When this one came out, it sold out of early release like in two seconds. And um, Marlon and I were driving to my aunt's funeral. My aunt had passed away and that weekend was her funeral. And uh, it was on the Saturday that this one came out and I missed it the first time. And the second time I'm refreshing, 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 waiting for the general release to come out. And Marlon's like, do you really think Carrie, you need to be doing that? We're like on our way to your you know, your aunt's funeral. And I said, my aunt was a crafter. I said, my aunt right now is sitting up there on a pink cloud going, go get it, Kara, go get your painting. So um, I think she and my mother were cheering me on for this one, but I did get it in general release. This is Glass Mermaid. Um, and a lot of people ask about this one because of the, what looks to be the texture of her skin. It is not. This painting, Dakota painted on several panels of glass, one in front of the other. So there were different things on each piece of glass in the original uh, piece of art that she had painted. This is a reflection of the light <coughs> through the glass. So um, I just thought this one was super cool. And um, again, I love, you know, I love Dakota Dateweiler and her work. So this is Glass Mermaid. All the fish and the coral. Oh, these are making me so happy. The danger of doing these is I want to do them all. I really do. Okay. Oh, this one. This one I bought for myself for my birthday. This is from Jaded Gem Shop. And since purchasing this, I have gotten to know Jade through several groups. And um, she is going to be at our Crafters Paradise retreat. I cannot wait to meet her in person. She is absolutely lovely. Um, this is a mermaid's bath, artist to, to Toshia San. Um, uh, let's see, are the dimensions on here? I don't see the dimensions on here, um, but this is a pretty big one. Again, maybe um, a 50 by 80, 50 by 70. I'm a terrible estimator, but I just loved it. It's a 
beautiful mermaid. She's got a little bow in her hair and she's got her tail and she's taking a bath. So um, this is what I got myself for my birthday uh, last year. So um, it was a, a treat for me and um, this one had just come out so I had to have it. I like the way the curtains are draped at the window and it looks to be some Tiffany glass in the uh, window. So lots of fun detail in this one. So yeah, Mermaid's Bath, Toshia Sand from Jaded Gem Shop. All right, moving on. Oh my gosh, there is a story. There is a story behind Jewel of the Sea. It is a Hannah Lynn from Diamond Art Club. This particular painting is Alyssa, the diamond painting accountant's fault. I had gotten already, because they had come out with a mystery kit. It was fantasy, it was tropical, it was by Hannah Lynn. I thought there might be a mermaid. I, I've left this in the plastic. I'm not, I'm not gonna show mysteries because I don't wanna mess up the surprise for anyone. There may be a mermaid in this one. So I thought, well, I've already gotten the mystery and I think there's a mermaid. I, I did go peek. Um, at the mystery group in Facebook and people were kind of putting down what they thought it might be. And I thought, well, I've already got a mermaid. I might not need this. Then Alyssa calls, uh-huh, my enabler. And she's like, oh my gosh, Kara, I'm gonna bling up her jewelry. You can put quad cubes in the chain and you can do this. And I'm like, well, I have to have it now because Alyssa enabled me. You know, we, we, we wouldn't be good in a support group because we would support each other right into buying more diamond paintings. So Alyssa, this is your fault, but um, it's all good because I, I absolutely love this one. Again, this is Jewel of the Sea uh, from Diamond Art Club, and I'm, I'm so glad I picked this one up. Okay, I'm sorry, this is a 65 by 81 centimeter. So pretty. All right, do you see why I didn't add the beach ones? This is all mermaids. Okay, this one, ooh, this one I love. It's a very different uh, type of painting um, from my typical style, more muted colors. This one is from Enablers Outpost. Um, and uh, they actually had this painting at um, one of the retreats I was at. I have met Edward and Elizabeth. They are absolutely lovely people. I love them so much. Um, and they, at that point, had started um, selling diamond paintings. And I saw this one and I loved it. I love the cascading water. This one is called Cascade. Okay, <laughs> I didn't even see that before I said cascading water. But I love the water cascading behind her. Her hair is cascading. Everything is cascading. Her tail, um, she's sitting on a rock. And I love the fact that you see the back of her. Um, and this one just spoke to me. I just thought it was beautiful. And um, even though the colors are a little bit more muted, I just thought it was it was magical. It just really was and I loved it. And so when I saw it at the retreat, I grabbed it. This is a 60 by 80 centimeter. And again, this is Cascade. Um, this is licensed from Rachel Byler from Colorful Cat Studio uh, from Enablers Outpost. So I loved that one. Oh no, we're not done yet. I'm telling you, I love mermaids. Love mermaids. Okay. This one, this one I actually talked to Hannah Lynn about. Um, because if you message Hannah Lynn, she is such a lovely person. Okay, I'm going to start putting some of these up here because they're falling on the floor. She is such a lovely person. She will message you back. I mean, she really does make an attempt to message you back. And so when I got this one, Lady Leprechaun, I said, is this a mermaid? I don't know, maybe, I'm not sure. But then I looked down here at the bottom and I don't know if a lot of people realize down here in the bottom right hand corner, you see her scales, her mermaid scales. And then back here is the top of her tail peeking out, it's flipped back. And so I was like, it is a mermaid and she wrote me back and she said yes it's a mermaid i said okay i'm showing it then in my mermaid stash video so this is lady leprechaun um it's a pretty recent one from diamond art club artist hannah lynn it is a 45.1 by 62.7 centimeter and she is beautiful okay next ah next we have a diamond art club and this is when sherry baldy was licensed with diamond art club this is Steampunk Mermaid. I had to have it. I absolutely loved it. 
Um, you've got this beautiful mermaid with her steampunk goggles and her hair is flowing, bubbles in the water, her beautiful tail. Um, this was just such a fun image. It is a 56 by 71 centimeter. Got a little clock down here at the bottom, so she's all steampunked out. But I mean, and she's even got her cute little gloves on. I mean, it's just adorable. I just love Sherry Baldi's work so, so much. But again, this is from Diamond Art Club, Steampunk Mermaid. Unfortunately, this one um, is not going to be available because Sherry Baldi is not licensed with Diamond Art Club anymore, but um, I just, I had to have it. I just thought it was adorable. Adorable! This is an older one as well. All right, what do we have next? What do we have? Oh, there's another story with this one. <gasps> This one is Jellyfish Mermaid by Jamaica Murphy or Jamushka. This one was one that came in the famous mystery box drop. The last mystery box that Diamond Art Club dropped, she came, um, we all got random ones. Um, I got, uh, what did I get? Christine, Dreaming of a Better Tomorrow and Spider-Man. And everybody got kind of different ones, but some of the ones that uh, Diamond Art Club put in the mystery boxes, we had never seen. And she is a very sought after uh, piece. And thanks to two people that wish to remain nameless, and I will leave them nameless, um, I was able to get my hands on her because I just, I love her, I love the jellyfish. Um, she looks like, you know, she's playing with a jellyfish. It looks like she just released one. Her hair got me. I mean, you know, you get the full on mermaid effect with this one. Um, this one is a 95 by 65, um, so it's big, but it's just beautiful. I just finished up Blueberry Fairy by Jamaica Murphy and absolutely loved it. So yeah, this is Jellyfish Mermaid, Jamaica Murphy, Diamond Art Club. Okay. What else do I have? But wait, there's more. Oh, this is a newer one too. I had no paintings from this artist, none. And she had several come out. There uh, was a couple I wanted and I just missed because her, her diamond paintings sell out so fast. This is Rosie Scribbles. This one is called Mermaid Tea Time. And I just, she's in a swing with the beautiful vines around it. She's having her tea. Um, she's got her lovely bikini top on with her, uh, you know, mermaid uh, tail. And a lot of these paintings I just find really cool with mermaids because the tail kind of goes out of the picture and then comes back up. So here's the end of her tail and here's the beginning of it. This is a 70 by 88 centimeter and um, it is Mermaid tea, tea Time by Rosie Scribbles. And I also love her hair and her hat. I just, the colors in this were just beautiful and I loved it so much and I was so glad I got this one. Um, it's just, I, I really, I'm really starting to, to love this artist's work. All right. Another Distracted by Diamonds and another Greta Lusky. I think this is the one that she has in her shop. This one is called Saltwater. Um, artist Greta Lusky, like I said, this artist does a lot of mermaids um, and um, Distracted by Diamonds has licensed with her and they have put out um, several of her mermaids. I loved how her hair looked like it's just floating in this water and she looks to be you know, under the water from this going on up there and then the bubbles in the water over here. Um, I, I just, I, I love, this art. I love the expressions on all of these mermaids faces. I just think they're priceless. And so, um, I had to get this one again. This is salt water. I believe this is the one uh, that she has on her Etsy shop right now. Uh, if you're interested, um, Greta Lesky distracted by diamonds. The dimensions are 62 by 70 and she beautiful. I just love her. Okay. All right, oh my gosh, are we to the last one? I think we're to the last one. Okay, this one is also an oldie but a goodie. Oldie, and this is, it, this is a big one. This is Mermaid Legends. This is by Genovia Art, um, Diamond Art Club. It is a 70 by 99. I loved this one, I grabbed it, I think, 
At the first No Frills retreat, Shay of Crafting with Shay and I were roommates. And um, I think Shay was talking about this one and I may have gone and gotten it when she was talking about it because you know, Shay is a big mermaid person too. Um, but I loved it. I love, her. again, her tail is swooping. She's got the beautiful red hair. A lot of these mermaids have red hair. Have you noticed that? Um, anyhow, uh, the beautiful plant life and she's playing a harp. And I just, oh, I just loved it and had to grab it. So um, I'm rounding out the um, collection, my collection, my stash of mermaids with mermaid legends. Cause um, you know, there are just all kinds of legends about mermaids. So um, the, that is my stash of mermaid paintings to date. Um, don't hold me to not buying anymore, but obviously I have plenty of mermaids to do right now. So Marlon will probably hold me to not buying any more mermaids for a while, but, um, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I will list, um, the paintings that I showed in the description box and the companies that they came from, um, in case you want to go check them out. Um, some of these though, um, I've been diamond painting now for four years. Time goes by so fast. I believe four years and some of these just aren't, aren't available, but some of them are. So you can go check them out. Um, you know, all these companies are amazing. I want to thank them all for, um, you know, putting out such beautiful art with just a variety of scenes for us to pick from, depending on what our style is, uh, what the decor is in our homes. Um, and I've just, I've had a great time collecting. So, um, you will see me in another stash video this month. I'm sorry, this one is late, but, um, planning for the retreat and Dakota thon and, um, everything I've got going on, it just got a little bit away from me, but I didn't want to, uh, waste a, uh, another minute without uh, getting this one filmed for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give me an old thumbs up. That really helps, uh, the channel. And leave a comment. Which one was your favorite? Which uh, mermaid that I showed you was your favorite? Um, I know it's kind of hard to pick. It would be hard for me to pick too. So, all right, guys, that's what I've got for you uh, today. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know how you're doing in the comments as well. And I'll leave you with this. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. This is the Principal Painter, and I am signing off.